As with any lifestyle change or physical exercise program, consult your physician before you begin your yoga practice. If you are pregnant, discuss your yoga practice with your yoga instructor. As your pregnancy progresses, you will need to modify or avoid certain poses. Move at your own pace and modify the poses as needed in order to maintain alignment and easy breathing in every pose. If you feel any discomfort, dizziness, or pain during your practice, either modify the pose so that you are comfortable or take a few moments to rest. It is very important that you listen to your body and practice yoga in the manner that is the safest and most comfortable for you. Namaste. My name is Michael Riel. This is the Neck and Shoulder Series. And exhale, slowly dropping your left ear to the left shoulder, keeping the back nice and straight. Sinking the seat bones into the ground, into the earth. Breathing deeply into the lower belly. Staying with the breath. Staying focused, single-pointedly, on the breath, on the sensations within the body. Just noticing them as you keep on breathing. Keep dropping that right shoulder back and down, creating nice length in the neck. Inhale, pressing the chin forwards, keeping that left ear pressed towards the shoulder, breathing in deep. Staying with the breath here. Keep on dropping that right shoulder back and down. Tucking the chin in towards the chest now, elongating the back of the neck. Staying with the breath. Keeping the head tall as that left shoulder and ear draw towards one another. Staying with the breath. Breathing in deeply. Exhaling, releasing all that neck tension. Inhale, head back to center and all the way back up. And exhaling, dropping that right ear to the right shoulder. Dropping that left shoulder down and away from that left ear, staying with the breath, staying nice and tall in the spine, reaching those sit bones deep down into the earth. Inhale, pressing the chin away from the chest, stretching out those sternocleidomastoid muscles at the front of the neck. Staying with the breath. Keep dropping that left shoulder back down and away. Keep breathing. Finding the length in the front of the neck. Oftentimes, these muscles are so tight in the front of the neck. And inhale, drawing the chin in close towards the chest. Breathing deep into the back of the neck. These are the muscles that we feel very tight that can oftentimes give us headaches or shoulder tension if we're working at a computer or studying. 
neck tension is one of the most common symptoms. It extends to the rest of the body. Inhale, head back up to center. And exhale, dropping the chin towards the chest, releasing the back of the neck. Staying focused with the breath. Keeping the back nice and tall, nice and strong. Inhale, head back to center. And slowly inhale, extending the chin towards the sky. Never compressing the cervical spine here, being gentle with the back of the neck. Inhale, head moves slowly back to center. And exhale, chin slowly dropping down towards the chest. Once again, relaxing the back of the neck, releasing. Inhale, left arm up and back. Simple twist. Inhale, right arm up and over. To that left knee. Looking behind you, taking the eyes as far in the direction of the twist as is comfortable. Breathing deep. Rooting through the sit bones, extending through the crown. That point at the top of the head, directly between the tips of the ears. Inhale, drawing the head back around to center. And inhale, right arm up and back. Left arm up and over to that right knee. Simple twist. Breathing deep into that lower belly. Feeling the twist stemming from that point halfway between the belly button and the pubic symphysis. Keeping the chin level with the ground, taking the eyes as far in the direction of the twist as is comfortable. Inhale, coming back around to center. Inhale, picking the arms up and pressing your hands out, dropping the shoulders back and down, like you're putting your hands between a door jam, really drawing the shoulder blades in towards one another. Exhale, dropping the hands slowly down. Inhale, picking the hands back up and pressing out, drawing the shoulder blades in towards one another. Not locking the elbows, creating flow between the muscles, tendons, the bones. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, reaching the arms above the head, hands into prayer position. And exhale, slowly reaching forward, reaching, 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 reaching. And exhale, all the way down, taking the forehead towards the ground. And cross-legged forward bend, staying with the breath, grounding through the sit bones, feeling the length in the spine, reaching into the tips of the fingers, breathing deep, Allowing all that tension in the shoulders and the neck and the back to melt, melt away. Inhale, reaching the arms above the head, coming all the way back up. Exhale, arms reaching down. And coming over into Cat position, knees directly beneath the hips, hip width apart, toes tucked under, 
Hands directly beneath the shoulder, shoulder width apart. Palms facing down, fingers facing directly forward. Exhale, chin towards the chest, pubic bone towards the forehead. Inhale, reaching through the crown of the head. And exhale, chin towards the chest, pressing through the hands and the knees, finding the space between the joints. Inhale, extending through the crown. Sit bones moving towards the back of the head. Nice arch in the back. And slowly exhale, chin towards the chest, pressing through the hands and knees, drawing those abdominal muscles towards the back of the spine. And slowly inhale, extending through the crown of the head, opening up the front of that neck, drawing the sit bones towards the back of the head. And exhale, chin towards the chest, moving at your own pace, breathing deep, Breathing deep. Inhale, extending through the crown of the head. Sit bones move towards the back of the head. Breathing into the entirety of the back. Exhale, chin towards the chest. Pubic bone towards the forehead. Tucking that tailbone right under. Slowly inhale up and back into downward dog. Pressing through the hands, through the arms, finding the length in the backs of the legs. Pressing into the ground with the hands. Finding the length from the tips of the fingers to the top of the sit bones, from the bottoms of the heels to the tops of the sit bones. Really feeling like that, that dynamic stretch in both directions. Finding the balance in the weight between the hands and the feet. If you like here, inhale. You can walk the dog a little bit by raising up on both tippy toes and bending the left knee and the right knee, holding Staying with the breath, moving with the breath, and slowly up on the tippy toes and coming down, down into child's pose. Relax, relax. Bring the hands into prayer position in child's pose. Press the pinkies into the ground as much as possible, lifting the elbows off the ground extending the tips of the fingers forward while the sit bones move back behind you, finding the length in the back. This is a great shoulder stretch. Pressing all the fingers together in prayer position, pressing the palms together. Breathe. Breathe. Stay with the breath. Always with the breath. Inhale, taking the hands out of prayer position, taking each hand, palms facing up by each ankle. And if you like, interlace the fingers on the lower back and slowly inhale, reaching the palms up towards the sky. Forehead resting on the ground. Keep pressing the palms together in yoga mudra. Extending those sit bones back behind you. Breathing into the shoulder girdles. If you like here, you can inhale and come up onto the crown of your head. 
lifting those sit bones up and extending the arms above you, above your head towards the ground in front of you, breathing deep into the shoulders, pressing the heels of the palms together as much as possible, refining the length here. As you slowly come down, you can keep the hands pressing forwards in front of you. When your sit bones meet your heels, slowly lower the hands towards the buttocks and relax. Remember which finger was on top in the last yoga mudra. Which pinky was at the left or the right? Relax here, letting all the tension in your shoulders melt away. Reach the hands back onto the lower back, opposite finger on top this time, and inhale, reaching the hands up towards the sky. Once again, opening up those shoulder girdles, pressing the palms towards one another, really finding the length in the arms, the opening of the shoulders, breathing deep into the lower belly, feeling the breath expanding into the lower thighs and upper thighs. As you inhale, coming up onto the crown if you're comfortable and extending the arms towards the ground in front of you. Keep breathing, breathing into the shoulders, into the hands, and slowly exhale, coming back down, sit bones coming towards the heels, and exhale, bringing the hands back down towards the buttocks, and relaxing, palms release down, Fingers facing up, releasing all tension from the shoulders. Slowly inhale, arms above the head, coming back up into cat position, tucking the toes under. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Inhale, arm reaching up towards the sky, opening up that chest, pressing through that right palm, left palm reaching up, and exhale, taking that left palm, swinging it out through and under, rolling onto the back of that left shoulder, turning your head towards the sky as much as is comfortable beautiful twist here. And if you're comfortable here, you can take that right palm and take it to the right lower back, palm facing down. Remember to keep the toes tucked under here, really grounding through the knees, grounding through the toes. If you're comfortable there, you can reach the palm, right palm up towards the ceiling, and or you can take it back behind you towards the ground, palm facing down. Inhale, taking that right palm directly beneath that right shoulder. Inhale and pressing down through that right palm, lifting yourself back up to center. Exhale, chin towards the chest, pubic bone towards the forehead, into angry cat. Inhale, extending the chin towards the sky, sit bones towards the back of the cranium. And exhale once again into angry cat, releasing all this tension in the upper shoulders, in the upper back. Inhale, extending through the crown of the head and creating that nice, beautiful arch in the mid, lower, upper back. Exhale, 
chin towards the chest, pubic bone towards the forehead. And inhale, slowly coming back to center. Inhale, right arm reaching out and up, opening up the front of that chest, pressing down through that left palm, finding the length in the body here, breathing, breathing, and exhale. Right arm reaches out, down, and through, rolling onto the back of that right shoulder. Chin moves towards the sky. Remember, right palm facing down. If it's comfortable, you can take that left palm to the left lower back. If that's comfortable, you can reach that left palm up towards the sky and or back down behind you. Palm facing down now. Breathing deep. Inhale, slowly reaching that left palm up and down directly beneath that left shoulder. Inhale, pressing back up to center. And slowly exhale, chin towards the chest, pubic bone towards the forehead. Angry cat. Inhale, head towards the sit bones, sit bones towards the back of the head. Exhale, pubic bone towards the forehead. Inhale, crown the head towards the sit bones. And exhale, pubic bone and forehead towards one another. Keep pressing through the hands, pressing through the heels. Inhale, pressing up and back, coming into downward dog. This is supposed to be a resting posture, so find the rest here. Bend the knees, find the length through the entirety of the back. Nice straight lines here, as much as possible. Remember, if you're not comfortable having your legs straight, then bend the knees. It's better to have the back nice and straight and have good form than sacrifice the form for trying to get your heels on the ground. Breathe, breathe into the posture. Inhale, right leg forward, coming into low lunge. Chest is up, eyes are looking directly forwards. If you're comfortable there, you can bring your hands up onto your left knee. Really extending through the length of that right groin, opening up that right front hip. Breathing deep. Inhale. Opposite foot back, coming back into downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, coming into low lunge. Eyes looking directly forwards, fingers pointing towards the ground. This time opening up into the left groin. If you're comfortable there, you can bring your hands up onto the top of the right leg. Breathing deep, deep into the front, 
that left groin, that left leg. Inhale, opposite foot back, coming into downward dog, stretching out into the arms, pressing the palms deeply into the earth, finding the length in the elbows and the shoulders. It's the joints where the most energy gets bound up. So these are the areas where it's good to take a conscious look and effort to really allow the energy to flow. Not holding, not constricting in these areas, finding the space. Inhale, reaching both legs forwards, coming into forward bend. Forehead towards the shins, allowing the crown to drop down towards the earth. Sit bones moving above the heels, really lengthening in the backs of the legs. Finding the breath. Finding the peace. If you like, you can interlace each hand in the crook of each elbow. And really just allow gravity to gently elongate the body. Provide a gentle gentle stretch. Inhale, releasing the hands, coming up halfway into half chair, then full chair. Exhale, coming back down into forward bend. Inhale, coming up halfway, flat spine, Reaching the arms above the head into chair position. And inhale, coming all the way up into Tadasana. Exhale, reaching down to forward bend. Inhale, halfway up, flatten out the spine, eyes looking directly forwards. Inhale, arms above the head into standing chair position. Slowly inhale, arms above the head, coming up into tall, tall mountain. Standing in Tadasana, hands in Namaste, reflecting, checking in with the body, checking in with the heart. Exhale, hands pressing down towards the earth, and inhale, taking that left leg back. into a nice leg width apart stance coming into warrior two. Make sure that right knee is directly over that right heel. Not above or behind, too far in or too far out. We want it nice and centered, dropping the shoulders, arms reaching in front and behind equally keeping that tailbone tucked under to keep those hips nice and level. Breathing deep, reaching forwards, 
bringing that right forearm onto that right knee, coming into side angle stretch, keeping the chest nice and open. Slowly bringing the hand down towards the ground, if you like. To gain a little bit more depth in the side angle stretch. And if you're comfortable there, you can reach the hand to the outside of the foot. Inhale, taking the hand behind and coming into Trikonasana, straightening out that right leg, keeping the chest nice and open. Keeping the eyes looking up towards that left palm, that left thumb, arms nice and open. Keep grounding through both legs, never locking the knees, grounding through the feet. These are your roots. Looking down, taking that left palm down towards the ground, reaching that right palm up towards the sky. Pavrita Trikanasana, reverse triangle. Really keep grounding through that back leg, outside edge of that foot. Staying with the breath, staying focused on that one point. Inhale, spiraling back up. And inhale, bringing the opposite foot back to Tadasana. Inhale, right foot back into triangle starting position. Remember that back foot is in on a 45 degree angle and we want the heel of the front foot to line up with the instep of the back foot. Exhale, coming into warrior two, keeping that left knee directly over that left ankle, dropping both shoulders, keeping the fingertips nice and long reaching in both directions in front and behind us keep that tailbone tucked in to keep that back nice and long giving lots of space breathing deep inhale reaching that left elbow down to that left knee coming into side angle pose Stretching that right arm way over the head, rolling that shoulder back and down to keep the chest nice and open. Keep rolling that left rib cage under. If you'd like more depth, you can take that left hand towards the ground in front of that left foot. For more depth, you can reach the hand behind and inhaling slowly up into Trikonasana, straightening out that left leg, remembering not to lock the knees, grounding through the outside edge of that back foot, extending the hands towards the sky and the ground below you. Beautiful T. Dropping that right hand towards the ground Coming into reverse Trikonasana, opening that left palm towards the sky with that right palm reaching towards the ground, grounding through your roots. Inhale, spiraling back up. And inhale, bringing the feet back to Tadasana. Reflecting here in mountain pose. Checking in with the body, checking in with the heart.
Exhale, dropping both the hands. Inhale that left arm up and drawing it, that left elbow down with the right hand or reaching that right hand back behind and interlacing the fingers. Breathing deep into the shoulder girdle, keeping that head nice and tall, keeping the tailbone tucked under, keeping those lower abdominal muscles engaged. And this is comfortable here. You can inhale and forward bend. Staying with the breath. Keep extending through the length of the crown of the head. Breathing into the shoulders. You can do this with the variation as well. Remember, always listening to your body. Always checking in with yourself. Listening to the heart. Inhale. Contracting the abdominal muscles, bringing you back up to center. Releasing, inhale, reaching the arms out to the sides, giving yourself a big hug. Just relaxing the shoulders, letting them release. And exhale, dropping the hands down. Inhale, right arm up and back behind. Once again, you can do the variation, taking the left hand up and drawing that right elbow down behind you, keeping the head nice and tall, or you can reach that left hand back and behind and interlace the fingers. Breathing deep into both shoulder girdles in the front and back, keeping that tailbone nice and tucked, keep the back long. If you're comfortable here, once again, you can move in towards the forward bend. And if you're in the variation, you can do this as well. Keeping the legs nice and straight, not locking the knees, keeping that energy flowing through the legs. Breathing deep. Allowing the crown of the head to move down towards the earth gently. Inhale, gauging the abdominal muscles, bring you all the way back up to center. Inhale, releasing the fingers and exhale, giving yourself a nice big hug, relaxing the shoulders, releasing any tension or holding here. Inhale, arms open, back down to the side. Inhale, namaste. In Tadasana, reflecting, checking in. This is like our inventory here. It's checking in with what's changed, what's new. Inhale, arms reaching forward, coming into seated chair pose, slowly moving all the way down to sitting, and slowly taking the hands to the knees, inhale, raising the chest towards the ceiling, exhale, chin towards the chest, reaching those hands forward, just letting the weight sink into those hands on the knees, inhale, opening the chest, reaching the eyes and chin towards the sky, exhale, eyes looking down at the pubic bone, really finding the length in the shoulders there. Inhale, reaching up, opening, stretching up that upper back. Exhale, relaxing, chin towards the chest, pubic bone towards the forehead. Inhale, eyes towards the ceiling, and slowly rolling down one vertebra at a time. Go as slow as you possibly can, staying with the breath, staying focused, 
using the breath and slowly coming down to Shavasana. Bring the knees in towards the chest and just rolling out the lower spine back and forth. Gentle massage, loosening up the back. Nice and relaxed. Inhale, drawing the knees towards the chest, holding, and slowly moving the feet down towards the ground. Feet parallel, hip width apart, and slowly breathing into and out of the lower belly, inhaling, supporting the lower back as you move into plow. If your feet don't touch the ground behind you, keep supporting your lower back. Keep breathing into the lower belly, lifting the sit bones towards the sky. If you're comfortable in this position, you can move into yoga mudra. This is only if your feet are touching the ground behind you. Be gentle on your neck in this position. Always remembering, feel no cervical compression. If there is any sensation of tension in the neck, it can come out a bit and put more weight into your elbows and your hands supporting your lower back. Breathing deep. Finding the lengths in the legs. You can release yoga mudra and or hands back down off the lower back using the hands as brakes, pressing the forearms and hands into the ground, coming out slowly, rolling down one vertebra at a time, bringing the legs in as close to your body as possible, legs up nice and straight, and bringing them down slowly, slowly to the ground. Once you're there, you can shake out the legs gently and just lie in Shavasana, taking a moment to reflect, to just notice the difference in your body. Inhale, left knee towards the chest, interlacing the fingers atop the knee, not lower than the knee. So we don't want to put too much pressure on the knee joint. This is sensitive joint and don't want to strain it. Keep pressing through both heels and if comfortable you can draw your chin in towards the chest, bring your forehead towards the knee, keep the shoulders rolled back and down, lifting that right foot an inch off the ground and slowly rolling back down. Breathing in deep Take the right hand on the outside of the left knee, left hand perpendicular to the body, and exhale, gentle twist over to the right. Eyes are looking in the direction of the outstretched arm, palm is facing down. This is too much on your shoulder, you can try it, palm facing up. Breathing deep into the lower belly, deep into the lower back. Beautiful stretch for the lower back, working those internal organs, the intestines. Inhale, bringing the heel, knee back to center. Drawing in that knee towards the chest. Breathing, breathing. Inhale, scoop the hands behind the knee and extend the left heel towards the sky. Arms nice and straight, shoulders dropping back and down. If it's comfortable for you, you can interlace the index and middle finger around the big toe. 
and extend that right hand along that right leg, chin tucked towards the chest, and right leg an inch off the ground. Keep breathing here. Exhale slowly, coming down, keeping that shoulder and arm engaged, chin in, moves back towards the chest. Exhale, lowering that left leg back down towards the ground. Inhale, arms above the head, and drawing that right knee in towards the chest, interlacing the fingers atop the knee. Keep drawing that knee in towards the chest, breathing in deeply, keeping that chin tucked to keep the neck long. As you press through both heels, if you'd like some more difficulty in this posture, you can inhale and draw the chin towards the chest, forehead towards the knee. Keep breathing deep. And if you'd like a bit more difficulty, you can lift that left leg one inch off the ground. Inhale, left hand on the outside of the right knee. And right hand perpendicular to the body. Once again, palm facing down. Or if there's shoulder discomfort, you can take the palm facing up. And drawing that right leg across the left side of the body. Eyes, chin, looking to the right. Breathing in deep, staying focused, inhale, drawing the knee back to center, hands back to center, inhale, drawing that right knee back towards the chest. Inhale and scoop behind that right leg, behind the knee, and going up as far as comfortable. Shoulders drawing back and down. If it's comfortable, you can take the index and middle finger of that right hand and grasp them around the right big toe, and extend that left arm straight along that left leg. Chin tucked towards the chest and left leg an inch off the ground. Breathing deep here, keeping the energy flowing through the back of the leg. Exhale, dropping the hand down of that left arm, left leg down, keeping the shoulders dropped back and down of that right arm, and right leg stays with you. Exhale, releasing that right leg, letting it come down one breath at a time, slowly all the way down. Breathing deep. Slowly inhale. Heels come towards the buttocks. Fingertips should be able to touch the backs of the heels. Make sure both feet are parallel. Knees directly above the ankles. Inhale. Pelvic tilt. Slowly peeling the pelvis off the ground. Into bridge. Arms pressing down gently into the ground. This is a beautiful opener for the front of the hips, allowing the blood flow to return to the heart gently. Exhale, slowly rolling down, one vertebra at a time. Slowly, once again, inhaling, peeling the pelvis off the ground, keeping those knees above the ankles, pressing the pelvis forward, opening up the hips. Keep breathing into the lower belly. Keep squeezing the insides of the knees together like you're squeezing a beach ball so the 
knees don't flare out to the sides. If you like, you can come into yoga mudra here, drawing the shoulder blades in towards one another, pressing the palms of the hands towards one another. Keep breathing into the lower belly. Keep pressing into the ground with the balls of the feet, the outer edges of the feet, and the heels. Relaxing, release your hands from Yoga Mudra, and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. And once you're all the way down, bring your knees into the chest. And wrap your arms around your knees and roll the lower back out one breath at a time, side to side. Inhale, press the heels towards the sky, fingertips towards the sky, palms facing one another, shoulders dropping back and down, chin tucked. And slowly let the arms and legs down into Shavasana. Relax. Release. Surrender. Breathing into the lower belly. Focusing on the breath. Letting the body melt away, all tension and holding melting away. You are at peace, you are one, you are relaxed and centered. And slowly, gently bringing your awareness back to yourself. Wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Taking a deep breath into the lower belly. 
allowing your consciousness to return Slowly inhale, clenching all the muscles tight, tight, tight in your body, squeezing as much as you can, and exhale, relaxing, releasing. Inhale, squeezing tight once again, every muscle in your body, squeezing, squeezing, holding, relax. And last time, inhale, squeezing, 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 relax. Ah. And slowly bring your hands above your head, inhale, bring yourself back up to seating whatever comfortable way you can. And coming back into seated meditation position, lotus, half lotus, simple cross-legged position. Bring your hands into prayer position. Namaste. Thank you.